Chào Liam đi này Dạ, bé Liam đi này Kêu ra cô đi anh Hello Min. Hello. Yes. Um uh, I think you forgot our schedule. Our schedule is 8 p.m. 8 p.m. not 7 p.m. Yeah, that is 7 p.m. Tuesday, but 8 p.m. on Saturday. Do you understand me? Yeah. yeah, I have I other yeah, I am waiting for other students. So you can enter later, 8 p.m. Exactly 8 p.m. our time. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay, so by me, I'll be seeing you 8 p.m. Tell your mom or your dad. Our class is 8 p.m. Okay? Yeah, 8 p.m. Yeah. Okay, so bye-bye. See you later. Hello, Vin. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Yeah, so can you hear me well? Um, yeah, better than all the time, but still to shopping. Oh, no. Okay, what about my screen? Can you see my screen? Uh, very, very blur. Okay, so can you open your Zalo VIN? Mm. Yeah, because I'll be I'll just send yeah. a picture in Zalo so that you can see the oh, okay. because I think that is your internet because so far I already had seven classes today and they didn't complain about the screen blur. Uh, yes, they complain, but just only for five minutes in our class. And after five minutes, it's already okay. Yeah, they can see clearly. So anyway, Vin, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, so me, I'm not really okay right now because I ate balot. Do you know balot, Vin? It's a Filipino street food. Have you heard about that? Uh, no. Yeah. So it's like egg, but ducks, ducks egg. I ate like six balot. Then I'm having a headache right now. I think it's high blood. <laughs> yeah, but I'm too young for high blood. Anyway, today, Vin, we're going to have a practice test for listening so listening is divided into four parts all in all you will get 25 points yes so here pill pill is just like a medicine or a capsule yeah do you know capsule or medicine like pill no pill but i don't know capsule yeah, so yeah, so this one pill is just the same with capsule. This is the spelling C A P S U L E. Yeah. So it's just like the same with pill. So we take this one if we're having a headache, fever, cough, or whatsoever. Color, this is for men. 
usually men have men do wear shirts with color so we have different types of color here aberdeen pembroke stand up Westminster and cathedral yes so do you wear color tissue um t-shirts with color vin like the one on the mm, neck yes yeah what about yes. your uniform the do does it have a color uh in my uniform at school have a uh, color yeah so i think all uniforms have color unless if it's for pe then there's no it's only t-shirt and uh, pants okay so shower when you say shower it is a short period of rain or snow so the word or uh, the word shower originated or this is what we used when we describe a short period of rain yeah so it's showering now like that but sometimes we use this when we go to our restroom because if you have shower also okay so when you take a bath yeah. yes yes vin hello vin do you have something else do you have something to say Hello, Vin. Are you saying something? Okay. So, hello, Vin. Can you hear me? Very choppy. Oh, no. So anyway, this is the last word. So when you take a bath, what do you do you use for the water bin? Do you do you do you have shower in your restroom or like a uh, what's that? Like the small pot, then you take water and pour it in your body. What do you use when you take a bath, Vin? Uh, yes. You have shower? I use shower. Ah, okay. Yeah. So for the words in our vocabulary, we have peel, color, and shower. So let's proceed with our part one. So there are seven questions in this part. I want you to look at the slide and you chose your answer from A, B, C. I will send this one to you, Vin, in Zalo. Okay, teacher. Yes. Oh, no. I cannot open my Zalo. Wait a minute. Let me get my phone, Vin, because I cannot open my Zalo in PC. I don't know why. But it's been two hours that my Zalo in, on PC cannot open. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, wait me, Vin. I'll okay. be back. Okay, here it is. Uh, Vin, I realize that you are my longest student here in Pantado. 
Remember, we started last year. I think that's November, right? Hello, oh, Finn. yeah. Yeah, you are the lowest. Yeah, me. Uh -huh. And we studied with uh, Zello for a long time. And then, and then yeah, uh, and then we the the yellow, yeah. So I think, yeah, yeah, me studied with you for a very long time. Yes, that's correct, Vin. Because I can still remember that last year we were celebrating the family reunion. That's probably December or New Year. And I was like, I'm very sorry, Vin, because we are having a party. Wait me a minute, because I they wanted to have a family picture. Yeah, I was I was excusing myself to you. Yeah, and I just realized that you are the only one left. Ah. Uh, left from my students since last year because all of them already graduated they all finished their lessons that they enrolled in teacher am and some of them renewed oh. but i don't count but yes to be honest <laughs> but yeah seriously you are the longest student that i have right now here in pantado anyway so did you receive the picture that i sent to you uh what is i can see that you send a picture for me but yeah the picture is not loaded yet ah not loaded yet okay anyway so just let me know vin if you can see it now so that we can hear the audio okay yeah Okay, now. okay, so let's listen carefully to the audio. Okay. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. What is the man going to buy? Is everything ready for the holiday? I'm just going shopping. I must get those pills I take when I feel travel sick. Do we need anything else at the chemist's? We forgot the toothpaste last time. I've got that. I haven't got any sunglasses, but I can borrow yours, can't I? And I'll get something to read at the airport. Right. Now listen again. Is everything ready for the holiday? I'm just going shopping. I must get those pills I take when I feel travel sick. Do we need anything else at the chemist's? We forgot the toothpaste last time. I've got that. I haven't got any sunglasses, but I can borrow yours, can't I? And I'll get something to read at the airport. Right. Two. Which dress is Kate talking about? 
Oh, Mum, this dress is still dirty. It can't be, Kate. I've only just washed it. Well, it is. The mark on the collar has gone, but there's still a small one here. Look, it's at the front, just below the button. It's where I spilt some coke last week. Now listen again. Oh, Mum, this dress is still dirty. It can't be, Kate. I've only just washed it. Well, it is. The mark on the collar has gone, but there's still a small one here. Look, it's at the front, just below the button. It's where I spilt some coke last week. Three. When will Jane meet them? Hi, it's Pete here. Jane left a message to say she can't meet us at 8 o'clock as planned because her bus doesn't get in till 8.15 and it'll take her 30 minutes to get from the centre of town. I told her the table's actually booked for 8.45, so that would be fine and we'll see her then. Now listen again. Hi, it's Pete here. Jane left a message to say she can't meet us at 8 o'clock as planned because her bus doesn't get in till 8.15 and it'll take her 30 minutes to get from the centre of town. I told her the table's actually booked for 8.45, so that would be fine and we'll see her then. Four. Which morning activity is for beginners? At 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, there will be swimming lessons at both intermediate and beginner level. Then there will be volleyball practice at 11.30 for all those of you who are already in one of the teams. Also in the morning, for those of you who already know how to sail, there's a chance to do some practice on your own. There will be lessons in both sailing and windsurfing for beginners after lunch. Now listen again. At 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, there will be swimming lessons at both intermediate and beginner level. Then there will be volleyball practice at 11.30 for all those of you who are already in one of the teams. Also in the morning, for those of you who already know how to sail, there's a chance to do some practice on your own. There will be lessons in both sailing and windsurfing for beginners after lunch. Five. Which painting does the woman decide to buy? They're all nice, but you see a lot of flowers everywhere these days, don't you? So that wouldn't be my choice. The same goes for animals, actually. Although I do quite like the one of the horses. So it looks like it'll have to be the one with the boats. It will be a change from that bowl of fruit I've had on the wall all these years anyway. Now listen again. They're all nice, but you see a lot of flowers everywhere these days, don't you? So that wouldn't be my choice. The same goes for animals, actually. Although I do quite like the one of the horses. So it looks like it'll have to be the one with the boat. It will be a change from that bowl of fruit I've had on the wall all these years anyway. Six. What is the man selling? And this is the latest model by MacPoint. You'll find it's even quicker at doing your washing up and needs less water. And it's very easy to use, as easy as turning on your shower. Now listen again. And this is the latest model by MacPoint. You'll find it's even quicker at doing your washing up and needs less water. And it's very easy to use, as easy as turning on your shower. Seven. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow? 
It's been typical spring weather today, sunshine and showers. The next 24 hours should be dry but cloudy. Things look better for the next week with Monday being a fine sunny day and the following day mild but windy. Now listen again. It's been typical spring weather today, sunshine and showers. The next 24... Okay, it seems like you already have answers, so let's check. We have here B, C, C, B, A, A, and A. So very good. You only have one mistake. That's six out of seven. So, Vin, um, I would like to let you know that the, I check only by letter. I don't read it anymore because you read it already to save time also because Zoom give us only... 40 minutes from the time that you entered yes so now let's proceed with part two okay you will hear yeah, a radio okay. presenter talking about new books so for each question you can choose the correct answer a b or c here so let me take a picture of this one and send this to you in zello again okay yeah here it is Let me know if you're now ready to listen. Okay. Okay. Have you seen the picture now, Vin? Okay, now. Okay. Uh, you mean you can see my screen now? Yeah? No, I say that. I see the picture now and we can start the audio. Okay, here. Now turn to part two, questions eight to thirteen. You will hear a radio presenter talking about new books. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Welcome to this week's book program. We've got lots of great new books to tell you about. My Life by Joe Wrigley will keep all fans of Joe's stories happy for hours. It explains a lot about where his ideas come from and gives a picture of what was happening in his life when he was working on his most successful books. I must say, though, 
that some of it is difficult to understand if you haven't read his other books. Now, for those of you who like a good cry, Goodbye to the Fields by Susan Marks tells the sad story of John, a small boy who has to leave the countryside he loves when the family moved to London because of his father's job. John and his mother would prefer to stay where they are. It's a long time before the family begins to feel comfortable living in the big city. There are plenty of books with helpful advice this week. First, the A to Z of photography would make a great present for anyone just starting out with a camera. It has everything you need to know to take really good photos and learn about cameras, film, lighting and so on. This is not one for the experienced photographer, though. There's not much advanced information here. Turning to the kitchen, Cooking for One by Adrian White says on its cover that even people who hate cooking will find it useful. <laughs> a month ago, I couldn't even boil an egg. But now I'm producing all sorts of dishes, some quite difficult. And, yes, they taste quite good, too. I'm actually enjoying cooking now. I'm now going to try a new book about cooking Italian food. The last book this week is Holidays in Europe by Mary Curtis. This is an enjoyable read, which will start your imagination working as you plan for next year's holiday. It doesn't matter that the writer doesn't talk about the famous places everyone visits, but describes lots of small places away from the main tourist areas. The maps are too small to be useful, but the book is still good value for money. That's it for this week, then. Next week, there's a special report on giving books as presents. So, if you've saved up your money and you're wondering what to get for a friend or relation for their birthdays, you might get some good ideas. I'll look forward to talking to you then. Now listen again. Okay, so we have here C, B, A, C, B, and Z. So two mistakes, that's 11 out of 13. Yeah, so let's proceed with the transcript. Can you please read the transcript, Vin? Okay. Hello, welcome to this cookbook for fame. We've got lots of great books to tell you about my life. By Joe Wings Freakley. We'll keep all the friends of Joe's stories happy for hours. It explains a lot of where his ideas come from and gives a picture of what was happening in his life when he was working on his most successful books. I must say, though, that uh, it, it is difficult to understand if you haven't read his other books. Now, for those who like a good cry, Goodbye to the Field by Susan Marks. The tells the subtly, sad story of John, a small boy who has to leave the countryside he loved when the family moved to London because of his father's job. John and his mother would prefer to stay where they are. It's a long time before family begin to feel comfortable living in a big city. There are plenty of books we have for advice this week. First, the A to Z of photography will make a great present for anyone just starting out with a camera. It, it has anything you need to know to take really good photos and learn about cameras, film, lightning, and so on. This is not one of the experiences photographer, uh, though there's not much information here. Turning into the kitchen, Cooking for One by Adrian White says on its cover that even people who are cooking will find it useful. A month ago, I couldn't even boil an egg, but now I'm producing all sorts of dishes. Some cards difficult, and yes, they test quite good too. I'm actually enjoying cooking now.
I'm going to try a new book about cooking in Thailand food. The last book this week is Holiday to Europe by Mary Curtis. This is an enjoyable read, which will start your imagination booking as your plan for next year's holiday. It doesn't matter what the writer doesn't talk about famous places everyone visits, but describes lots of small places away from the main tourist areas. The map are too small to be useful, but the book is still good volume for money. That is for next week. Then the next week, there's a special report on giving books presents. So if you save up money and you're wondering what to get for a friend or relation for your birthday, you might get some good ideas. I'm looking forward to talking to you, talking to you then. Okay, so thank you for reading that one, Vin. You are still a great reader, a fast reader, and all your pronunciations are good. So let's proceed with part three. It's question 14 to 19. So I think this is eight points. You will hear a teacher talking about camping trip. For each question, you can feel the missing number. I the missing words. Here it is, Vin. Ah, by the way, so Vin, if Zoom ends automatically, just re-enter again, okay? Okay. Yeah. Now turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. You will hear a teacher talking about a camping trip. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part 3. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to give you the final details of our camping trip next week. You may like to make some notes as there's a lot to remember. The coach will be outside the school on Monday morning at 7.30 and we will set off at 7.45 so don't be late. There'll be room on the coach for one bag each, so please don't bring more than one bag or suitcase. Uh, you don't need to bring tents or food, as that's all provided for us, but you will need to bring a sleeping bag. It turns cold at night, so bring some warm clothes too. If we're lucky, though, the sun will shine, and we'll be able to use the outdoor pool on the site, so don't forget your swimming things. On to pocket money. Please don't bring too much. We can't keep a lot of money safe. Five pounds per day should be plenty, so you can buy souvenirs and drinks while we are out visiting places. You'll probably also want to bring some extra money for the last day when you are free. The campsite is in the middle of the countryside, so if you've had enough fresh air by then, you may want to go shopping in the nearest town, about eight miles away. That's Southport. There's plenty to do there, and there's a bus that stops outside the post office in the village down the road. I'll point it out to you when we get there. On Friday afternoon, before you leave college, please look at the notice board in the entrance hall, as there may be some changes to the arrangements which I need to tell you about. Now... Has anyone got any questions? Now listen again. Okay, so we have he oh, here it is. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to give you the final details of our camping trip next week. You may like to make some notes as there's a lot to remember. The coach will be outside the school on Monday morning at 7.30 and we will set off at 7.45, so don't be late. There'll be room on the coach for one bag each, so please don't bring more than one bag or suitcase. You don't need to bring tents or food, as that's all provided for us, but you will need to bring a sleeping bag. 
It turns cold at night, so bring some warm clothes, too. If we're lucky, though, the sun will shine, and we'll be able to use the outdoor pool on the side, so don't forget your swimming things. On to pocket money. Please don't bring too much. We can't keep a lot of money safe. Five pounds per day should be plenty, so you can buy souvenirs and drinks while we are out visiting places. You'll probably also want to bring some extra money for the last day when you are free. The campsite is in the middle of the countryside, so if you've had enough fresh air by then, you may want to go shopping in the nearest town, about eight miles away. That's Southport. There's plenty to do there, and there's a bus that stops outside the post office in the village down the road. I'll point it out to you when we get there. On Friday afternoon, before you leave college, please look at the notice board in the entrance hall, as there may be some changes to the arrangements which I need to tell you about. Now, has anyone got any questions? That is the end of part three. Okay, we have here 7.45, sleeping bags, swimming, drinks, miles away, post office. You're miles away, this is post office. Then, entrance hall, very good. So, how many? Three. So, 19 minus 3, that's 16 out of 19. So, now, Vin, let's proceed with the transcript. Can you please read this one? Okay, thank you. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to give you the final details of our camping trip next week. You may like to make some notes as there's a lot to remember. The course will be outside of school on Monday morning at 7 30 and we will set out at 7 45. So don't be late. There will be room on the coast for one bag each show, so please don't bring more than one bag or suitcase. You don't need to bring tens of food as that are provided for us, but you will need to bring a sleeping bag. It turns cold at night, so bring some warm clothes too. If we are lucky though, the sun will shine and we will be able to use our pool on the side. So don't forget your swimming things. On to pocket money, please don't bring too much. We can't keep a lot of money safe. Five pounds per day should be plenty so you can buy souvenirs and drinks while we are out visiting places. You will probably want to bring some extra money for the last day when you are free. The campsite is in the middle of the countryside, so if you had enough fresh air by then, you may want to go to go shopping in the nearest town about eight miles away. That's Southport. There's plenty to do and there's a bus to stop. Outside the post office in the village, the other row. I will point it out to you when we get there. On Friday afternoon, we saw before you leave college, please look at the notice board in the entrance hall as there may be some changes to arrangements which I need to tell you about. Now, anyone has questions? Okay, so thank you for reading that one, Vin. Since we still we only have one minute left, so I just want you to re-enter again after this one. Yes, so before we proceed with part four, the last part. So I'll be seeing you later, Vin. Please re-enter again. Okay.